الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب التفلاء في الله as we said prior to this about the importance of charity and that there are various ways to do charity and, and small kindnesses and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that first and foremost that we're ordered to do uh, zakat waqimu salat wa yutu zakat we know it's one of the pillars of Islam and that we know also that just smile something as simple as a smile is a charity as the Prophet Sallallahu said and likewise that leaving off those small kindnesses is one of the attributes of the people of hypocrisy and the people of ma'asi and sinfulness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ma'un at the end of the surah that the speaks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the one who does not give small kindnesses. So being kind to one another and kind to people in general and kind to the creation in fact, is something that Islam not only encourages, encourages but it is an obligation. It, it's a, it obliges us to do. You know, it's a command of Allah and it lets us know that those who don't do it are the sinful ones. Those are the characteristics and attributes of the sinful ones. Is that they leave off the small kindnesses. They, they, they prohibit the small kindness. So never underestimate those small deeds. In fact, I, I just lost my glove and a man came up the trail and just gave it to me. He was jogging in this snow. He perhaps doesn't even believe in Allah, but he did a small kindness. He did a small kindness to me, a human kindness. And the believers should be first and foremost in doing these things. It's a form of da'wah Allah. And as we said, good manners, being kind to the creation, these are attributes of the mu'mineen. And these are some of the highest deeds you can do. There isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believers than good manners. And verily, law hates wicked and sinful speech. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when, when Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha was asked about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she said, Khulquhu al-Qur'an. That his manners were the Qur'an. If you wanted to see how the Qur'an was being implemented, you wanted to see all those good attributes that are mentioned in the Qur'an, you would see it as, as, as if, uh, you would see that in the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You would see it actualized in the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. So, Ahabatifillah, don't underestimate that. Don't under, underestimate those small kindnesses and those those deeds of of charity. And I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to give often. Look at our brothers and sisters uh, coming from Syria, our brothers and sisters in uh, Cameroon, our brothers and sisters uh, in Central African Republic, who are not even spoken about in the news. They're being slaughtered. They're being slaughtered based upon their deen our Chinese brothers and sisters who are being oppressed because of their religion. So small kindnesses in every respect, you know, if you can find a way to do charity to, that, to, to give to those people who are in need, then do so. Because it's only going to benefit your soul. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِذَا مَاتَ الْمَرْئِ إِنْ قَطَعَ الْأَمَلْهُ إِلَّا مِنْ That when a person dies, his deeds cease except for three, and one is Sadaqa Jariya, the continuous charity. And we ask Allah Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.